Hello everybody, it is Natasha. We are back here today for a brand new Timeless Picky Card reading. So whether you are new to my channel or you are a returning subscriber, hello and welcome. Hello and welcome, beautiful. We are going to be diving in and asking spirit, asking our higher selves, asking our spirit guides, guardian angels, universe divine, what do others find attractive about you? So, I also want to say that yes, if you have been around my channel for a while, you may have noticed the channel name change. I am no longer Mystic Wisdom and Treasures. I am now the Mermaid Priestess. I felt like it was time for a good change. This is something that I have been contemplating for a while, but I just didn't know what the right name was and then suddenly it just clicked in my head well i'm really drawn to the ocean everything i do is usually very ocean centric and themed like my water scrying my table setup what i really like so i figured why not go with something that really embodies me and what my channel really stands for a lot of the time so i really love mermaids i really love the ocean I've always been drawn to it, so now I shall be known here as the Mermaid Priestess. So, yay! I'm really excited. Um, I also want to say a huge thank you to those of you who have been liking my videos, supporting my channel, sharing my content, commenting on my videos, and leaving feedback. I really do value your support so very much as well as those of you who have been booking private readings with me as well as donating to the channel thank you thank you thank you so much if you are interested in booking a private reading with me my service information is listed in the video description down below i currently am offering readings through my etsy shop so you can find those links in the video description and also donate to my channel if you are interested in feeling generous. I really do appreciate it. Thank you so much ahead of time. And with that being said, let's dive right in. We're going to be doing some water scrying, some contromancy, and then pulling from the tarot to figure out what other people find attractive about you. I wanted to do something lighthearted and fun today. so. We have four groups to choose from today. Over here we have group number one, group number two, group number three, and group number four. So take a moment to clear your mind. Take a few deep breaths. <sighs> Call in your spirit guides, guardian angels, higher self, universe, divine, and ask them to help lead you to a group or groups that contain the information for your highest good to know today so this reading is also timeless so it doesn't matter if you are watching this now or you end up coming across it later on or one time you feel drawn to one group and then later on you come back and you feel called to another group that is all perfectly okay this is based on the current energies going forward this is a reflection of the energy that you are currently reflecting, and I am the messenger for that energy. So, once again, over here we have group number one, group number two, group number three, and group number four. Timestamps will be listed in the video description down below so that you may skip ahead when you are ready. And let's get right in. Hello, my darlings. For those of you who are drawn to group number one, hello and welcome to your reading. Let's find out what other people find attractive about you. So we'll hop into the water scrying and then we will pull some shells for you, read some seashells for you, and then hop into some tarot. So right off of the bat, I the first thing that is immediately coming to me through the energy of your water is that 
people find your heart very attractive. They view you as a very generous person, a very warm and inviting person. Even if some of you may not always be the kind of person who just opens your heart up to everybody, maybe you feel a little shy and reserved at first, that's not all of you. But you also have this liveliness to you, this excitement, this warm inviting energy that draws people in. And you have a very colorful nature to you as well. There's something very exotic about you. Whether this um, has to do with your energy or your appearance, people, that is what spirit is showing me. Your spirit guides are showing me that people view you as somebody exotic and has this really warm, heart-centric energy to you and you have a very colorful aura. Uh, or people just see you as somebody very vivid. For some of you, again, it may take a little while to get to know you and unravel that. But Spirit is really showing me that people find your heart very attractive. Even if you don't say much, they can feel the energy radiating from you. Um, Spirit is sh showing me that people are also very drawn to your hair. Um... And this is a general reading, so only take what resonates with you, but this is what Spirit is telling me. This is what other people find attractive about you. So your hair, there's something very smooth and luxurious about your hair that, and it also feels very soft, or people think that it looks very soft. Um, you may have a very beautiful head full of hair or have very long hair for some. Uh, I'm getting like even maybe even the coloring in your hair is something that people are really attracted to and very gentle facial features. Um, there's a softness to your face. You may have very soft skin and people are very attracted to these gentle facial features that you have. Um, some of you have a very nurturing look to you, a very gentle, warm, kind health kind-hearted and they're also telling me angelic look to your face and your presence um some of you may be this is obviously not going to apply to everybody but some of you be may be more on the petite side you may feel like you are built smaller like shorter um but that's something that people are very allured to you by i'm seeing somebody this is a specific message for someone out there um, not all my messages are going to be specific and directed to just one person. Keep that in mind. So if you don't resonate with this one, it doesn't mean the reading is not for you. But I am seeing somebody with like long, soft, dark hair. Um, somebody who is more petite in size, like shorter, and has very gentle facial features and soft skin. So um, as well as the warmth added to your presence, that's something that draws people in about you in particular. But you have this nurturing energy to you. I'm feeling this energy collective as a whole. There's something very exotic to you. Um, maybe it's something in your facial feature. Uh, or it's just something in your presence. Like there's something that seems a little bit distant. But at the same time, there's a warmth to you that people really gravitate towards. So in all, what I'm seeing so far from your water is people are attracted to your hair gentle facial features in your skin. There's something very, very soft to your features and to your skin and it's very inviting. It's very warm. You have the warm heart and then like this angelic look to you that people really gravitate towards. So let's dump out the water and check your seashells. We will be using the one that you I pulled for you here, but I'll also pull some more from the bag as well. But already, this is going back to that more um, either really short frame or petite body frame. I'm getting like we're getting a lot of like also physical features within this reading, too. And this is feeling like some of you may have something very beautiful about your voice. You may, I'm getting like spirits showing me like a siren voice, like that alluring. People are very attracted to your voice. There's something very angelic about your voice. There's something, you may be a beautiful singer as well, and people find that attractive. 
um, using your voice. Although some of you, I am feeling like you're very guarded about who hears your voice. Like you may be a really talented singer and have this beautiful angelic voice to you and you're singing, but it's like you may not, that may not be a gift that you share with just everybody. And it gives you like this mermaid energy or like the siren, the secret siren. And that's, that's very alluring to people too. You have like this mystery about you that allures, that lures people in. Like they can tell like you're this hidden gem, you're this hidden angel, you're this like mermaid treasure of a person and you're very angelic too and your voice. So I'm sensing like a very soothing voice. So I may use some more shells and then I will tune into the energy and frequency but I'm getting somebody with very angelic traits, um, spirit, what else do people find attractive about our group number ones? Okay. I'm getting more, more messages about the hair. You may put a lot of care into your hair, either that or you have a lot of hair, like a lion's mane of hair that you don't really have any like it looks like you put a lot of effort into it but you may just be good with like beach waves or um you might have like thick curly hair naturally and it just naturally already looks good like straight out of the shower and it dries like for some of you that is other of you others of you i'm seeing you put a lot of maintenance into your hair like maybe you don't like that natural curl look to you if you have curls um, again, not everybody is going to have that, but I'm feeling like you put a lot of time, care, and energy to maybe straighten your hair for those of you who do that. Or you just put a lot of maintenance into your hair and people notice that about you. Yeah, you have a polite energy to you, but also like the secret wild spirit about you. You're very polished and put together, Spirit's showing me. Some of you have a unicorn for a spirit, spirit animal. Um, it's interesting, we got three of the same type of shell, but I also tune into the actual frequency of these shells when I do this. This is reminding me of kind of like that unicorn horn. So let me tune in to all of these for you. People find you like very mystical, I'm getting. Um, they may see you like as this rare unicorn and it feels like you're maybe like kind of this triple threat energy. So you could be able to dance, sing, act, or you could be very physically beautiful. Your voice could be very beautiful. You could dress very beautifully. Like there's, and you have a lot of talent. Um, I feel like it's hidden talent. Like you don't just share it to, to everybody and people are surprised because they're like, they assume that you're this completely confident person to where it's like, why would you hide this to yourself? But at the same time, it's almost like angelic in the mystery of you, that you don't just share everything with everybody. Some of you have a gentle, quiet nature to you, and you're shy, and you don't let your walls down to just anybody. So it gives you like this mystical mermaid energy or like unicorn energy, this rareness, this hidden beauty, this in hidden angelic beauty. It's like this siren's song. You are like the siren song to other people. So, let's get some messages for you. Ace of Swords. People can tell in your presence. I channel messages intuitively with tarot. Um, but people can tell that you have been through a lot or you've been heartbroken in the past. So maybe you keep your voice away for that reason. Um, we do have the Five of Cups, so yeah, you have been through a lot. People see, when they look at you, they see somebody who has faced tragedy, but they've managed to become like this lighthouse through other people's dark times. They see you as somebody who is strong enough to pull themselves out of a situation and has that independence. I feel like some of you are very harmonious. You may have Libra somewhere strong in your chart or maybe in your moon. 
So we have the Hermit, Knight of Swords, the Five of Swords. We have two fives here. Um, but I'm getting that some of you really have been through a lot and people know that you've done a lot of introspection or maybe you're somebody that really turned your life around and how to fight for your own rights you may have had to get yourself out of a very dark situation or having to constantly be put against the odds um some of you i'm getting specifically are single parents not all of you of course and not all of you are parents but I'm getting that is something that people see. They see somebody very caring who kind of had either had to grow up young and really make this life. Or they, and they also see you as somebody, again, is very wise, is very spiritual, is somebody who has been hurt and has a lot of compassion. Um, and they find that very attractive about you. They, they know that you've been through a lot. And... Um, Sorry, I'm trying to choose which deck I'm going to pick here, but to get some final messages. Let me use this. Okay, sorry. Um, they see you as somebody who has been through a lot, and they see you as somebody who has built up a lot of compassion, wisdom, who has a lot of intuition, who helps other people out of dark situations to find that clarity for themselves. Um, they see you as also a leader. You like you, you are also strong. You are strong. You know how to fight back, but you're very compassionate. It's not because, and I feel like this is because of experience too. It's not something you necessarily wanted to go through or learn how to do. And you help people out of their dark situations. People might have the tendency to kind of depend on your energy. Um, yeah, you're somebody that broke free of the past and they find you very strong. They see you as independent because of this and a guide and a mentor. And they actually find that wildly attractive about you. They find your story to be something that gives you more depth and yeah, def hidden depth. You have a lot of hidden depth and mystery to you and also somebody that doesn't take shit from anybody else. Let's get two more spirit before we close this reading out. Yeah, this makes me think of like a songbird or a messenger or somebody that is a beautiful singer or a talented writer. Um, somebody who deli who delivers people out of the dark too. Um, maybe you're a psychic like I am. Castle. Um, a lot of people might see you as somebody. I'm also looking at the bottom of the deck at the lantern. Um, people may see you as somebody who's kind of like that Rapunzel energy or Rapunzel might be very important or relevant to you or you can relate to it in your story somehow. They see you, people will may like, people that are attracted to you, um, whatever gender or genders that you are attracted to, I'm feeling like they may see you initially as somebody that they want to rescue and save like they view you as like the damsel because you have like this angelic hidden away quality about you but you're also like this fortress and you like you're like i'll lead myself out of the dark i don't need you to do this for me and it's like people want to help you because you have that soft quality to you but what they don't see like what they may not realize is like you had to have that strength to pull yourself out of those dark situations and you're not gonna let yourself be de be dependent on other people they see you as somebody like they want you to rely on them um because like they're very attracted and they want to like kind of swoop in and be a knight in shining armor to you or something along these lines but You've got so much strength. You really pack a punch, and you are a, you've got so much wisdom and depth, and it drives people crazy that they can't be the one that kind of swoops in and saves the day, because it's like if, well, the moment some you feel underestimated by somebody, you're like, nope, I will burn your perception to the ground. I am I may come off really angelic and soft and like this hidden gem um, that hides. Like, maybe you hide yourself away in some sort of, to some capacity. And you're like, but I am intuitive. I see through your crap. Uh, and I know how to light the way for my, 
for myself and others and I illuminate the dark for people and myself and I expose hidden truths. I am the keeper of sacred, sacred knowledge. I am a high priest or priestess. Um, I feel like that's your energy. Like you help change people's lives and initially they may not realize or recognize that at first and that only makes you like this Un, like this ever unraveling mystery and it's like they think they're getting one thing and they're allured to this mystery from you the soft angelic like secret siren sacred siren energy about you but little did they know like you're also somebody that illuminates the dark and you are a, like a gift from god honestly and you change people's lives for the better and you're very healing and yeah, you definitely impact people's lives in a big way. So, this was a beautiful reading. I really loved being your reader for today. If you enjoyed this reading, be sure to give this video a thumbs up. Comment down below if it resonates. I really do value and appreciate reading your your feedback and your support really means so much to me. If you are not already subscribed to the channel, please go ahead and click that down below. If you're interested in booking a private reading, my service information is listed in the video description down below. If you feel inclined to donate, thank you so, so much. My PayPal information is also in the video description. I will see you all again soon. May you have a beautiful day such as yourself. See you later. Hello, my darlings, my beautiful pile number twos, my loves. Let's find out what people find attractive about you. Remember, this is a general reading, so please only take what resonates with you. Leave the rest behind, and let's get right in. So we're going to start with some water scrying, and then we will hop into the shells and pull some tarot cards for you. So let me tune in your water due to your frequency. So, much like group number one, this isn't going to be exactly the same. Maybe you're drawn to both for some of you. But I am getting the sense that there's a warmth about you. Um, there's almost this exuberance of energy. This massive heart space. I feel like you have a very generous heart. And a very warm presence. A very full presence. And people feel taken care of around you. People feel like you have a massive sense of humor I'm getting for this group. I feel like you're very witty. You have a very sharp mind and you're intelligent. Um, I'm getting the sense like you have a way with words. Whether you feel like you do or not, I feel like you have a really good sense of humor that people find very alluring about you. I think it's your mind and your conversation skills that really lure people in. Uh, your personality grabs a lot of attention and I'm feeling like you kind of have like this, um, how do I put this, like that certain side smirk smile, I don't know how to say it, like you know that crooked smile but people like, and there's humor to it, there's wit, there's cleverness to it, like you have a clever smile, an inclusive smile spirit just told me. Um, I'm also feeling like some of you have, like, um, a very expansive mind, like, your mind is always running, um, you're very intellectual, people are very drawn to your intelligence, uh, I feel like, especially the humor, the quick wit, like, you have these certain comebacks in just the right moment. Even, I feel like some of you are gonna argue with me and say, like, no, I don't. <laughs> but, yes, you do. And if you really take a look at it, you do. So, don't come at me in the comments because I already feel your humor. And I'm seeing a starfish in my mind's eye. So, that may be... A spirit animal guiding you at this time. You may have a certain star quality about you to your energy. Um, some of you could really be stand-up comedians if you wanted to be. Uh, and I'm feeling like that's something that really does magnetize people on an energetic level. Um, I feel like at times you may be quick to kind of state out a more self-deprecating joke. Ha! <sighs> 
I, I, I see you pile number two. Uh, you're not giving yourself enough credit, but you're quick to make other people laugh. You have like a huge smile. People are very drawn to your smile and I'm getting like, some people may also like, for some of you, I'm getting like a very sharp nose, like a very, like there's something very, they're saying nice about your nose, like that people are attracted to, people are attracted to like the certain, the certain sharpness between your smile and your nose. And your laugh. There's something like very generous about your laugh almost. There's something that is very contagious about your laugh. There's warmth in your laugh. People are attracted to your laugh, to your expansive, warm, generous, funny spirit. And it shows up in the outer physical realm of things in your physical body. And if, if, yeah, it's, you have a very, like, sunshine energy to you, like sun rays, and it feels almost like, it's like fire, it's like the sun, it's like something very huge, expansive, larger than life. Um, so this is, <laughs> I feel so awkward to a degree saying this, but Spirit said, maybe you're, uh, your butt. <laughs> People are attracted to your butt. You may have a very nice shaped butt. <laughs> oh my goodness. And a nice smile and a nice laugh. People are very attracted to you and they're attracted to your warmth, your exuberance. Um, and your personality as well. Some of you may also be very gifted cooks, Spirit is saying, so people really love your cooking. <laughs> so I'm going to pour out the water now. We're going to get into some seashells. We already have one right here. We're also going to pull some more out of the bag. So there's one. This is some concho Nancy for you. Some of you may also have very beautiful, thick, curly hair. You don't have to, but that's just an energy that is coming up. Okay. They're almost giving me like a life of the party, whether you realize this about yourself or not. Mm, this feels like it's supposed to be on the end. I'm very particular about how I set things up. Um, Okay, you may have a wild independence about you. I'm getting, like, when I'm tuning into the frequency of all of these shells, I'm seeing, like, a horse showing up in my mind's eye, like a wild horse, a wild white horse, um, and the starfish. So, what this tells me is that you have a very independent streak about you, and it's your independence that really invites people in, that makes them attracted to you. Um, you're very ego, very much so against the grain. I'm getting and it's like you're not afraid to let loose and be wild or go against the grain or be the rebellious one or say the off-handed jokes like the at the most opportune moments or like when everybody is quiet like you're not afraid to say what everybody else is thinking or make a joke at very unexpected times you're very quirky you're very eccentric and you're also like the vibrance of the room and the life of the party. You make the room more full of life uh, with your smile, with your laugh, with your jokes, with your intellect, with your personality, and just your overall presence. I'm getting, um, you may have some, so again, only take what resonates with you. This is gonna be more specific to some of you. Uh, you may have like an hourglass figure about you for some of you or like certain curves to you that um, people are very attracted to. I just heard, oh, gosh, Spirit is really not holding back here. Um, Spirit said juicy. <laughs> I can't. Uh, um, you may have very voluminous hair, very luxurious hair, very thick 
hair, very wild hair, but it's attractive. It's, it's, it's kind of like in the sense, it's like pile number one, but not like pile one. This feels more wild. This feels more like you're not going to let anybody hold you back. And people see that in the way you style your hair. Maybe you let your hair be wild and free and people are extremely attracted to that. People are, people are very attracted to your generous nature and it shows up in your physical appearance whether your smile your energy your hair um maybe certain curves that you have that people are very attracted to like i had already mentioned and i'm not gonna say that again <laughs> unless they make me um yeah <laughs> You have a very attractive smile, a very attractive mind, everything. Just everything. Your personality is juicy, they're saying, and you are juicy. Your hair is juicy. Your smile is juicy. I'm not going to take this in reverse today. Um, not going to take it in reverse, spirit. Okay. So we have the Three of Pentacles, the Six of Swords. You're not afraid to leave people behind as well. Like, you're not going to let people disrespect you. Um, you kind of come in and out at the most unexpected moments. Some of you may have both Leo and Aquarius very prominent in your chart or blended together, I'm getting. You don't have to for this to resonate. You may have, you have, you're very passionate. You're very warm. You may have very rich features about you. Um... Some of you may have like very rich colored hair or a rich skin tone. Like there's something warm about you. Passionate about you. You, even though you have like this, okay, you're very regal too. Like, Spirit's saying you have a very regal energy to you. Maybe you have Leo in your rising. You don't have to. But I'm getting, like, this energy that even though you come off as, like, the life of the party to some people, like, even if you don't think that you are, you come off this way. You look this way. Um, even though you may come off as somebody who is quick-witted, who is, who has, like, the last punchline, all these good punchlines, and you're joking all the time and cracking jokes and full of exuberance, I feel like you're also able to relate and see to other people's inner child. You also have this depth to you. You have your own story of pain and loss, and you understand other people's as well. You have this compassion to you. Even though you may have, like, these quick-witted jokes to kind of play and tease people, it's almost like you also have this heart of gold underneath everything, and you're very generous, you're very kind-hearted. Very much so may have Leo prominent in your birth chart, or very Leo-like qualities. I'm also hearing Taurus. You, you're able to really help bring clarity. You may be a natural counselor to the people around you. And people may not expect this about you at first. You may be good at bringing other people together. You may have a really good hostess or host energy to you. Ocean. Yeah, you want to include everybody. I'm feeling like you're very inclusive. You... You are very much so somebody that appreciates community, values community. You want to bring community to the people around you. People find you have this very generous, embracing nature to you. And it shows up in your warmth. Like, even, like, I'm feeling like you, your body temperature might even feel very, very hot and warm to other people. But it's nourishing. There's something very nourishing to you. People feel nourished around you. And literally nourished. Maybe you're a really good cook. And um, you show love through your cooking. And people find that attractive. Um, you may have very beautiful, voluminous hair. You have, like, this warm yet funny nature to you. And people i'm hearing like volume is smile like big bright smile whether you have perfect teeth or not it's just the shape of your smile the exuberance of it the generosity of it so bolt taurus oh my gosh 
Ja. <laughs> oh. Yeah, you're not really, you're very, you're very stubborn, you're very loyal, you're very compassionate, you're very fiercely focused, you're able to reach the top, you're, you may have a little bit of a competitive flair to you too at times, or you've just made it out of some very hard situations. Um, hammer at the very bottom of the deck. So yeah, I'm getting like, you may have Taurus very prominent in your birth chart as well as Cancer. Um, two, I've already listed a few signs. Signs aren't very important. It's more so the essence of what they represent when I mention them. So when I'm thinking of the ocean and I'm thinking of Cancer, I'm thinking of the home. You bring a sense of home, inviting people in. Um, but it's also like the life of the party I'm getting, like, with that fiery energy to you as well. And you're also, it's like fiery, yet electric, yet also watery. It's, it's cool. It's like you have the personality of that life of the party when you want to be, to include everybody, to give people new ideas, to give them hope, but also embrace them, make them feel nourished and understood. Um, you're also very trustworthy dependable people know like when they tell you something like if they tell you a secret that's going with you to your grave and you're also not going to put up with anybody's bullshit um you're very focused on growth and maturity and getting here but you also know how to have fun people are attracted to all of this about you your inclusiveness your stories of triumph your inspiration you give to other people their gener your generosity um, and feeling like you've gone through a lot of transformation. Maybe you've gone through physical transformation as well. And that's something that people are attracted to. Um, there's certain... <laughs> Your hair may be very voluminous and wild. A very broad smile. You may have very broad shoulders as well that people are very attracted to. Um, and I'm getting... <laughs> I feel so awkward saying it. But spirit is not letting down on the um, curves in the buttocks, buttocks, and the chest. I'm, I swear I'm not trying to be a creep. <laughs> but this is what people find attractive about you. And the sunshine radiance to you in your smile and your, your overall energy. It's like sunshine, yet the whole warmth of the ocean, the expansiveness and home of the ocean. Your spirit is as big and as deep and as broad as the ocean, um, I see that you also see people through, you also see through people's bullshit. <laughs> so this is what I'm seeing for you. You bring a sense of home too to other people and help people find their way. You have very beautiful, clever, inventive ideas. So this is what I am seeing for you, my lovely group number twos. I hope you enjoyed your reading and found that it resonated with you. If you did, be sure to give this video a thumbs up, comment down below. I really do value and appreciate reading your feedback. If you are new to the family here, thank you for joining. If you have not already subscribed, please consider doing so so you may see future content when it gets released. Uh, if you are interested in booking a private reading or donating to my channel, my service and PayPal information is listed in the video description down below. I'm currently offering readings through my Etsy shop and I accept donations via PayPal. PayPal. So my information is in the video description. I hope you have a beautiful rest of your day. Thank you ahead of time as well for those of you who, who for those of you who do book um, or feel inclined to donate. I re really, really appreciate you. Have a wonderful rest of your day, pile, to pile number two. Hello, my beautiful group number threes. Hello and welcome to your reading. Let's find out what other people find attractive about you. Take what resonates with you. Leave the rest behind. We're gonna hop into some water scrying. Followed by some Contramancy, which we are going to be reading with the seashells. Pulling you some more seashells as well as the one that I had already pulled for you. I tune into the frequency of them and read the energy of them. And then pull some tarot and oracle for you. So, I'm already loving the energy so far. We haven't even gotten in. I'm also, it's like this... <sighs> breath of fresh air, this cold 
windy night energy, but it's also electric. There's static in the air. Ooh, I'm liking it. The very star-like energy. We had the stars on the back of the car, but like the star in tarot. So maybe you have Aquarius somewhere prominent in your chart. We'll find out. Maybe not. <laughs> I'm seeing cards show up in my mind's eye and I have not even pulled tarot and I may not even pull these cards, but first of all, I am seeing somebody who, okay, they're showing me a black stallion first of all, before we get into what else I was seeing. I'm also seeing the moon card in tarot, the high priestess and the star. So what I'm feeling like this is for you is you have like this quiet rebel nature to you with the black stallion um i'm feeling like maybe that is a spirit animal for some of you it's like you ride in the in the night you have this midnight energy to you uh but the stars are shining on you you may have a lot of talents you could have felt drawn to more than one group maybe you were drawn to also group number one and if you are here from that reading hello and welcome um once again uh, but this feels more like this midnight energy. I'm getting like the stars at nighttime, um, going against the odds, staying up late. Maybe you're a night owl, but it's like you swim against the current and it's like in secret, but it's not at the same time. It's like you're kind of eth is etheric word. Um, you're ethereal. You people find that attractive about you. You may have very like star kissed features almost like your skin might have a certain glow to it that is otherworldly there could just be a certain glow to your facial features you might have very piercing eyes as well and there's almost like the secretive nature to you not in a bad way but this is just one of the qualities people actually find attractive about you so i'm getting like it's like this midnight kissed features in a way this you have a very like high priestess or high priest energy to you like it shows up in your facial features you may have very loose curls for some of you long loose hair like curls and you may have a more flowy look to you and it's like a moon priest or priestess energy and people are People really like that. They like that you swim against the current. So you also may be very musical or people find your energy to be very musical and they, they're drawn to this quality. You may be very talented and gifted. And this might be why you were drawn to group number one for some of you, because um, this is kind of parallel to a degree. It's a different energy, but they both feel like the secret talents. But it's not that you're keeping it hidden. It's just you're doing this for yourself. And it feels like you're very multifaceted. You don't necessarily hide your talents, but people don't always know that you have them. So it's like now that they know that you're really good at art, you're really good at painting, you're really good at reading um, cards or very intuitive or you're a very good singer. Like you've got all of this going on for you and you're a gifted writer. You have so much talent about you that people find really attractive. And it's like you don't need to boast it because you don't need to boast your ego. Uh, I don't feel like you're very egocentric at all. You just are. You exist. You love. You're passionate. You love what you do. And it's like everything you touch turns to gold. You have like a star quality about you. And even if you don't always view yourself that way, that's how people perceive you. They see you as like this person that doesn't care about the rest of what society is doing or beauty standards. You make beauty. You, you're you almost like this alien, this beautiful alien, I should say, like this otherworldly creature that defines beauty for itself and you set new standards. Now it's like I was seeing a black stallion in the beginning. Now I'm seeing like this white horse coming through in the, in the moonlight. Um, I'm getting like you just have a very sleek feature to you. People see a very sleek quality in your physical appearance. Um, they may love the way that you do your hair. They may find it very angelic. They may find it very ethereal or mystical almost and very flowy. They People may view you as like somebody who almost looks like a mermaid to a degree because you're so otherworldly, so flowy, so spiritual in how you look, so midnight in how you look, like the stars at night 
in a way you may have very beautiful light eyes for some like you may have a pale eye color like light blue or light green or something very midnight like like the moon shining against the darkness is how your physical features can show up there's a glow to you there's um i'm almost seeing like for somebody specific you could have like a smaller mouth but the way your lips stick out it's like a certain pout to it or like a um something about your cupid's bow they're showing me is very attractive to other people it may have more of an angelic feature to it because of the way your lips are um it's like you don't have a lot to say necessarily all the time to people but your eyes say everything it's like you're holding this secret and people find that very alluring it's mysterious but it's very spiritual in nature like the high priestess so this is what i'm seeing so far let's get into the shells again very similar but not exactly the same maybe you're drawn to both piles one and three actually <laughs> i feel like some of you were um but this is making me think of like that unicorn energy which also came through for group number um for at least two for group number one you may have a very mermaid-like presence to you, very very sweet and soft and compassionate, but it's like at the same time you don't care what the rest of society is doing. Mm -hmm. You create your own standards of beauty. You're very strong. You may keep your heart a bit more guarded. Um, or close off to people to a degree and they really want to get to know you. where I want to okay to stop so let me tune into the frequency here yeah I'm seeing like people really love your hair you may wear your hair um, some of you have very long flowy wavy hair especially towards the ends people love how you style your hair and I think it's very like ethereal Whatever you do, do it. Um, your features are very ethereal. They're very mysterious. They're very angelic. Like the secret angel at night almost. And there's something, again, once again, I'm seeing something about like, your cupid's bow and your lips. You may have like a smaller, but like smaller mouth, but puffier lips. Um, they're showing me like your mouth is closed. Like you're keeping a secret. You're keeping it hidden. Like you know something other people don't. Um, you may be very musically gifted, but you don't share your talent with everybody. It's like you don't feel the need to have to boast anything. Um, some of you may be really into crystal healing. That might be a conf confirmation for some of you. Or you just, yeah, you have this midnight presence to where it's more rare. You feel very rare. You have a rare beauty to you. Your eyes are very beautiful. It reminds me of midnight once again. Like the moon poking through the dark sky and it's like you carry the secrets of night and it shows up in your appearance you're very moon like some of you may have a cancer rising in your birth chart you don't have to but there's something very moon like about you very nighttime there's a certain glow to you a very yeah, your lips. There's something about your lips. People are very drawn to your lips and delicate eyes. It's like your eyes have compassion to them, but they hold all the secrets of the universe in them. People see that. They see, like, they feel nourished when you look at them, but also, like, you know something that they don't. <laughs> so that's what I'm seeing so far. People like your frame, too. You may have a more lean frame. Um, there may be something very beautiful and delicate about your shoulders. Um, you have a, like, moonlight presence. Okay, so three of cups, and I'm noticing that moon in the background there, too. You're very supportive. You empower other people. Um, maybe you tend to hang out with a certain group of people. I don't know why that's coming through so, so far. Or you're just a really good support. I feel like you're an angel in other people's lives. 
similar. It's it's weird because it's like similar to group number one, but it's not. Maybe, yeah. I, I don't know. <laughs> it's interesting to try to interpret this energy. I'm seeing a butterfly in my mind's eye as well. So you may have a butterfly for a spirit animal, or a, a falcon, or a hawk. You en you encourage people to reach new beginnings and have better boundaries. Yeah, and at the very bottom of the deck we do have that Seven of Swords. So what I feel like this is, it's like you help people leave the past behind. You help them to become better versions of themselves. I feel like you give people hope and support, but you also have very strong boundaries. You're not afraid to be alone or be more like that lone wolf. Some of you may have a wolf for a spirit animal. You don't have to, or cats even. You have like cat's eyes even. People may think that you have like very piercing eyes. You may have blue eyes. I'm looking at the cat right there. It reminds me of your eyes in a way. It's like you hold the secrets of the universe within your eyes. But they're also very friendly. They're supportive, but they take no shit. <laughs> you lead people to, uh, to better days. I'm getting to enlightenment. You have like this breath of fresh air in your presence, an ocean like quality to you, to where it's deep, it's expansive, your energy is expansive, it's quiet, yet it's so deep and colorful. And it's like the crisp air of night, your energy is like the crisp air of night, it is like moonlight. Um, it's like that breath of fresh air and it's support and it's cleansing. You help people feel very cleansed about you and they feel happier around you. But they also know not to fuck with you. <laughs> with that queen of swords there. Uh, you help people stand in their power and they find that very attractive about you. The support that you give, the encouragement, your smile. People really love, there's a delicacy about your smile that people are very attracted to. I'm getting with these cards. Um, and a sense of freedom, um, there's something about the Little Mermaid too that you may relate to, or you may think you may look like the Little Mermaid, or people may tell you you look like the Little Mermaid, for some of you, maybe you have red hair, or very big blue eyes, or big eyes, and flowy hair, <laughs> or something very mermaid-like, re rebellious, quiet spirit. It's like you may come off quiet, but there's a rebellious, fun nature to you that people are very drawn to, and that you feel very ethereal. Just like a mermaid. You may have a very beautiful voice, but it's like you don't share it with just everybody. You're maybe a dreamer as well. You very you much so could be a hope, hopeless romantic fish. You may have Pisces strong in your birth chart as well. You do not have to. But I'm getting like, there's that flowy energy, that deep energy, that emotional energy. We have more the lobster. This is why, what is so significant about the little mermaid to you guys? Okay. <laughs> so, I'm getting the sense here that ice and fire so this is a specific message some of you may have somebody that's very attracted to you that's very much so your opposite it's like they want to melt your ice <laughs> like you have that cold crisp energy to you and it's refreshing it's quiet but it's loud and bright and refreshing it's secretive I mean, it's like there's somebody that sees you that's watching you whether you know it or not that kind of wants to come through and melt you um, there's somebody intensely watching you right now. This is very specific. Um, that finds you very attractive and appealing. And like that main course meal for them. <laughs> um, but I'm sensing like there's somebody that wants to burn through your to your core. Like maybe that sounds odd. But they see this as a once in a lifetime opportunity. And they want to like capture or pursue you. Um... People may find you to be like this mystery that they want to pursue or like this secret mermaid energy, um, like this hidden treasure. And people find that very alluring about you. They may find your hair very alluring, 
you're you have very angelic facial features and even in your body like there's something very flowy about it very ocean like about you that people are drawn and attracted to of the very bottom we have the pathway so this makes me think that yeah you're like this rare sighting you have this rare beauty to you you have like this once in a lifetime energy that not everybody gets access to and that makes you even more desirable and etheric you are very like almost pixie like too or mermaid like or um otherworldly and you feel distant and far away and that's why people want to capture you even more like the secret song again a lot like pile number one you may want to watch both these groups since they're very similar um little mermaid keeps coming back to my mind so you may relate to ariel's story from the little mermaid a lot or may share a certain resemblance to her and that's something people find attractive or something in your energy or her energy is very attractive and that's what people are drawn to about you you're like that rare sighting you're this otherworldly being and you have like these otherworldly features that only you define and make you very unique and like this moon goddess or moon priest or priestess energy to you and you may have a secret spunk about you too but you don't let that around people you don't really trust that much and that might be something that people are very lured in about you too so this is what i'm seeing for you my beautiful group number threes i hope that this reading resonated and you enjoyed it if you did be sure to leave it a thumbs up comment down below if it resonates i really do value and appreciate reading what you have to say um if you are new to the family Thank you so much for joining us. Um, if you have not already subscribed to the channel, please be sure to do so if you would like to see future content. And if you'd like to book a personal reading with me, my my reading my service information is listed in the video description down below, as well as my PayPal link if you would like to donate. Thank you so much ahead of time. If you are feeling generous, I really deeply appreciate you all. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for allowing me this chance to read for you, and I will talk to you all again next time. Bye. Hello, beautiful. My beautiful group number four is hello and welcome to the channel. Welcome to the family. If you are a new subscriber, if this is your very first time watching, hello and welcome. So happy to be connecting with your energy today. Let's start out with the water scrying and then we'll do some contromancy. Um, with reading with the seashells as well as some tarot after that. So since this is a general reading, please only take what resonates with you. Leave the rest behind. You know yourself better than anybody. This is reflecting the current energies of what people find attractive about you. So let's get right in. So the first thing the spirit is really showing me, they're showing me like this rose. So what this makes me think is people may find you very sophisticated in your beauty um, or graceful. You may have a certain grace or sophistication to your look. You put a lot of time and energy into how you look. You may put a lot of time and energy into your skincare routine, into if you wear makeup. For some of you, you may be really good with your makeup or pay a lot of attention to details. Um, there's something very organized about your energy that I'm picking up with this. And I'm seeing that you take a lot, really good care of yourself. I'm seeing like really white teeth. So people are really attracted to those small details and all that effort that you put into your appearance because it really shows you have like this polished look to you. Whether you're male or female, like I feel like, or whatever you identify as, I feel like you take very good care of yourself. You pay attention to the small details and it shows up in your physical appearance. Like there's something very organized about you, I'm getting. There's something you take very good care of yourself. People see it. And it pays off like you have very smooth soft clear skin um your skincare routine may be very important to you uh you have very white teeth i'm getting like you you take very good care of your dental dental health um like your dental hygiene i'm feeling like you have maybe you even have like a certain hair care routine or you put a lot of effort into your hair care or 
uh, into styling your hair, keeping it up, or having very sleek hair for some of you. Uh, getting somebody that just puts a lot of effort into their routines for their appearance. And that's something people find attractive about you and they see it in you. Um, you may have very soft skin as well, Spirit is showing me. Um, I'm getting somebody that really moisturizes, uh, that takes really good care of their body, who is very health conscious. Maybe you have a really good diet about you and all of this really shows in your physical appearance. Um, there's an organized feature to you that people are very attracted to. So again, the way you have paid attention to small minor details adds up to your appearance and people see it reflected in everything. Like whether this is your lifestyle changes or it's just the certain way you do things, it's that certain care and attention to detail and even over time that has led you to look the way that you are. So like you have a really good diet and it shows in your skin, um, it sh shows in the glow in your face, it shows in your nails and your hair, like the quality to it. And I think you take very good care of yourself. You have beautiful skin, very smooth skin. Um, seeing somebody who's putting like oil into their hair and they keep with this routine or like conditioning, deep conditioning it. Um, somebody who really pays attention to this, who keeps up with their hair care, who may, I'm feeling like you may be somebody who does trim your split ends or something like this. Um, I feel like you like to go for things that are more organic and healthy and you look very healthy. It shows up in your physical appearance or if that is something for some of you, a split off message, if that is something that you are currently working towards. Spirit wants you to know that it's really going to show in your appearance and it already is starting to. There's also a very youthful look about you. I think that you have very youthful eyes. Um, you look very young. So it's like even as you grow older, you age like fine wine, so to speak. You look way younger than what you are. And people are often shocked to hear your actual age. And it's a compliment. <laughs> Like, I know there's all different age groups going to be watching this, but I'm getting, like, so Spirit just said you get carded a lot. <laughs> so you look very young for your age. Um, you take very good care of yourself. I'm seeing somebody keep up with, like, vitamins and um, just their health. And, again, it really does show. It pays off. You may have a good workout routine going on for you. And it just, it really, like, it looks good. The work you've put into yourself and kept up with and the self-maintenance and all of this shows in your physical body and people find it attractive that you even do that to begin with. Um, you take very good care of yourself. You have a very fit body I'm getting as well. Spirit is wanting to say like um, you take very good care of yourself. You may go to the gym. You may uh, take very good care like in building your muscles like if you're no matter what gender you are it's not doesn't have to be specific to either one, but I, I, I feel like you take very good care of yourself. And that's something that people are attracted to. People notice the organization that you, you utilize towards yourself, and it pays off in your physical body, so you're very fit. People are attract to, attracted to your fit body, for some of you. Like, if you are somebody that goes to the, to the gym, they notice your skin. They notice, like, the effort that you've put into that in your hair, in your teeth, in your makeup in just everyday, your everyday routines, everything about you, like even your smell. Um, I'm getting like there's something very sleek to you, very organized, very paying attention to the details. So I'm going to pour this out real quick and then we're going to get into your shells. So Spirit is showing me that you have likely, some of you, if not all of you, of course, um, have gone through a big transformation in your life so maybe at one time like this could be like weight goals like hitting certain milestones or body transformations or transformations in your routine you may have a certain story about your look or your fitness journey or something along these lines 
Spirit just wanted me to bring that up. I am seeing like a butterfly in my mind's eye when it comes to like your physical appearance. And they're showing me busy, whatever that means. Like you may be very busy. Maybe some of you are fitness trainers. Or just very pay or very conscious to what you put in your body, like as far as food and chemicals you put in your body, especially organic. You may be attracted to more organic foods and stuff. Yeah, you very you pay a lot of attention. And you may have a little bit of a perfectionist streak to you. You are strict on your routines, I'm getting, but it's not in a bad way at all. This is very, this is what people find appealing and attractive about you. You keep up with your routines. Some of you may be bodybuilders too. Not all of you, obviously, but some of you may be bodybuilders. Yeah, this is making me think more routine. This is making me think of like the clock, um, ticking on the clock. This is like you're very punctual and people are attracted to that about you and you take charge when it comes to that you take charge when it comes to your health and your beauty um and how you spend your time interesting that two broken shells came out of this okay and then i'm feeling drawn to this last one so this is making me think of um pay off with your health again this is making me think of you being very protective over your routines and how you have worked towards your transformation i think maybe you help other people transform as well um to me it's just interesting how the one shell is moving i don't know why that feels like a message just yet you have a very busy energy i feel like you may um you may tend to release a lot of your tension, like if you're feeling anxious or your thoughts uh, or nervous energy through exercise or moving. Some of you may have strong Gemini in your charts, but you don't have to. Um, and getting somebody that is also more petite in their frame and very fit. Like, that's going to be specific for some. But I'm also seeing like males that are really good at toning out their body and their muscle and um fluctuating with this like you're very good you're very good with that routine and knowing how to do this and having control over that i think that you've come a long way to learn how to do that and have that discipline you're very disciplined there that's the word um people find that discipline very attractive about you and you know how to help other people get on the right track if they want to be on that track too um, and you help people stick to it. Like, you're strict with your own routine, but you also hold other people accountable with it as well. So, you may be a good workout buddy. Like, um, people may find that attractive about you. They may like to work out with you. They may, that may be something that people really like doing. They may see you as somebody who is competitive, but in a good way. Um, especially with your own goals or pushing other people in a way that makes them more enthusiastic to change. I feel like you help push people to change and you're a very influential presence and you don't take people shit as well that's something that people gravitate towards so that's what i'm seeing with your shells so far i like this energy you're very it's like you can be very strict on yourself but it's for good reason it's because you had to be maybe you some of you had a big health turnaround too like you may have had like a serious health condition that caused you to be this way and now it's like you're very conscious you're very strict with your diet you help people transform their lives too or that may be something you're interested in doing and that that's something that people find attractive about you it's the punctuality it's the determination about you and the small details that you are so disciplined about. People find that very attractive and alluring. People are very attracted to your teeth as well, like your smile. Everything that you put effort into glows and shows up. You have soft skin. Um, you may have very nice muscular features like abs or biceps or arms or legs or whatever. A very beautiful frame. You can tell that you take care of yourself. 
So we have the Sovereign of Swords, which is the Queen of Swords in this deck. The Ten of Pentacles. This makes me think about not having time for excuses. I think that's something that you kind of bring to your workout regimen uh, or your own routines and from other people too. Like you're not, you're more strict with yourself than you are with others and anything that you are more strict with others is to help make them more enthusiastic towards what they're doing. So you could very well be a fitness trainer, but you don't have to be. Some of you may be. Or influential somehow maybe you have a fitness channel if you are on social media or that could be something spirit is encouraging you towards we also have the ace of pentacles and the four of swords you're a very balanced person you may have a strong libra in your chart as well but you don't have to that's just the energy because i'm thinking of balance but again, you do not have to, or good balance with that in um, earth energy. Maybe you have a lot of earth and air in your chart. People blended together. So we have the Eight of Pentacles. So there's something about your transformation story that's very inspirational to other people. There's something you've learned from your past, and it's affected your physical body. And people see it on the surface and they see it in the stories you tell and how you act and how you present yourself and they find it very attractive about you. I think you know the balance between action and rest and you're very, very adamant. You're very, very set in making sure you have that balance and you're strict on that balance and keeping up with it. Um, you're very persistent. You're very goal oriented as well. I'm feeling like you're somebody who has a lot of goals. Anything you put your mind to, you get. You may exhaust yourself mentally at times and you need to take those breaks. And Spirit might be saying, if you're feeling in that space right now, it's okay to take a break and take some rest, get some beauty sleep. Um, I think you're harder on yourself. Some of you may be going to school at the moment, going to college um, and keeping up with your health care. And skincare, hair care routine is something you find uh, very important to you. And Spirit is saying, like, it is okay if you do need to take a day off or something. Like, if things are becoming too much. I don't know why I felt to pull one more card. But we have the Sovereign of Coins. So, there's something very abundant about you. You have beautiful hair. I'm getting, you have, like, this richness to your energy. I'm also feeling, I'm feeling like you're somebody that looks like they can take care of themselves. You're very independent. You're very abundant. You may be a business owner as well or very take charge of your future. And people find that very attractive. They find you very independent. They find you as somebody who is able to make their own decisions. And it shows up in your physical and energetic beauty. very healthy energy, very detail-oriented energy, or organized. And people are drawn to this about you. They find it attractive about you. You're very persistent, very goal-oriented, very ambitious. You may have strong earth placements in your chart, like Capricorn, somewhere in your birth chart. Interesting. Okay. So we have the ram, the moon, coffin and at the very bottom of the deck we have the sun so this feels like stories about triumph persistence and triumph you may have had to maybe some of you have gone to college for a long time or have been pursuing a certain goal for a very long time you're very strict with yourself at times you felt like giving up but you pursued and came out triumphant and this might be also a reminder for some of you if you've been feeling really exhausted and burned out to just remember like you're almost there towards the destination it's okay if you need to rest a little bit but do not give up um i feel like you holding your balance is something people find attractive and your persistence to achieve your goals there's a certain independent nature about you you look very it's like you take good care of yourself you dress very beautifully you dress very good um as well as you're very ambitious and people love this they eat this up about you um uh, you're somebody who's conquered a lot of dark times who has a big transformation story i'm noticing the butterfly in that background there too it might be a moth i don't know 
but it makes me think about transformations as well as the moon there and how the ram is just kind of looking at the moon and then there's this period of rest where they feel like giving up they're they're pushing themselves they're pushing themselves to the point of exhaustion at times this might be a warning for some of you to take a little bit of rest so that you can enjoy this new beginning or this new destination and transformation um, your transformation story is really good. You have a lot of ambition. You're very intelligent. And people are very drawn to this about you. They find it attractive about you. They find your persistence, your ambition, um, the details that you pay attention to very attractive. You have that, you almost have like that Capricorn ambition to you. You have that, that queen of pentacles there too as well. And I'm noticing the moon on both the coffin and in this card, and we have the crescent as well as more of a full moon. And this is making me think about, like, no matter what, I am always whole, even when I don't feel at my greatest, even when I do need more rest. You lead by example when you take rest for yourself as well, that balance, and knowing that you're still whole, even when you may need a little time off, um, and you hold that balance and know that the difference between work and play and you're gonna achieve your dreams for some of you if there's been a certain goal or ambition you've been working really really hard towards you're gonna get it and people see you as somebody that comes out as come comes out on top and teaches other people as well how to get there and they find you very charismatic for that reason and this is why people are very attracted to you. So I hope that you enjoyed your reading group number four. If you did, be sure to like this video. Comment down below if it resonates for you. And I really do value and appreciate reading your feedback. And thank you so much for watching this video. If you are new to the channel and you have not already hit the subscribe button, please consider doing so and joining the family. I'm so happy to have you here with us. And if you would like to book a personal reading with me, my service information is listed in the video description down below. I'm currently offering services through my Etsy shop. So those links are in the video descriptions as well as my PayPal link if you would like to donate. Thank you so much ahead of time if you are feeling generous. I really deeply value and appreciate you and I'm so glad I was here to read for you all today. I will see you all in the next video. Have a wonderful day. Bye.